Hey gang, welcome to the Doggy Traders. I'm your host, Jurgs. Today we are going to talk about and answer the question, what is Forex? Last video that we did, we talked about what is day trading. And I'd like you to go back and review that when you get a chance. Everything that we do is always available on our YouTube channel. So anytime you feel that you have to go back and look at something again, right now, some of the content may be a little basic and that's okay because that's where our following is at. Once we get a little bit more technical, that is going to be an excellent pattern to get yourself into is review the things that uh, we've talked about in the past. One of the other places where you can review some of the things we've talked about is our new weekly podcast. When this channel was started, we put out a lot of content, actually as many as three times per week with market analysis and crypto and Forex news. We're getting back to that on a weekly basis to continue the market analysis playlist and uh, content creation in addition to the inspirational series of videos that we're doing, the lifestyle series of videos that we're doing, and of course, the educational series of videos that we do. Also, anywhere you want to be, check us out on any of these eight platforms. Take a look at the ones in the corners. That's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch, and Twitter, as well as the two across the bottom. That's where you can get our live weekly podcast. That's every Friday, 4.30 Eastern, 10.30 p.m. Central European time. And anywhere you want to be at Doggy Traders. There it is right across the old choppers. Uh, also, coming to you soon in television, Apple TV, Android TV, Roku, Fire, and Apple and Android operating systems. That's going to be you know sometime this year. We're in talks with a company that's going to help us develop it. We're in talks with other content creators that are going to help us to develop the Doggy Traders channel and brand. So uh, stay tuned for that. Also uh, is the risk disclaimer. Let's talk about that real quick. Day trading and crypto investing on margin with or without an education can carry a high level of risk. In all cases, past performances never fully guarantee future results. Trading on margin leverage can work for you and against you. Always use sound risk management, as you'll learn here, as well as go into a trade with full and thorough market analysis, as you'll learn here. This video is for educational purposes only and needs to be combined with your own thorough self-education as you'll continue to learn here. We at the Doggy Traders welcome and recommend your own use of a financial planner, tax preparer, and other means of education. We additionally welcome all feedback, pushback, comments, and criticisms on educational material and trade ideas provided by the Jurger Group through the Doggy Traders brand or otherwise. We all accrue profits and losses. Just like your profits are yours, so are your losses. And neither the Jurger Group, the Doggy Traders, nor our associates on any level will be responsible for either. Take a breath, Jurgs. We all accept our own risk when trading and investing. This should be done with funds that one can afford to lose in the event of a loss via a trade or investment. Valuations and or endorsements do not guarantee your or our successes. That's the risk disclaimer. Take a look at that again when you need to. Um, we're here to help, but, uh, you got to do it a little bit on your own too. Uh, coming up next, what is Forex? This is again, a doggy traders introduction to Forex and part of our educational series of videos. You can check out this series and any of the other series on our YouTube channel, anywhere you want to be, but sp specifically on the YouTube channel at doggy traders. So as with anything that you do any sort of self-education with, Probably one of the best places to go simply like we did in the last video, and we will in so many others, is to take a look at Google. The Google search gives us this following result. One of the things on there has been on every Google search we've done so far and will be on, I promise you, many more, is a result from Investopedia. Investopedia.com, like we said in the last video, like I will say many more times again, is something that you should have bookmarked in your folder for anything and everything related to your day trading and investing. This, as a new trader or even a seasoned trader, this is an excellent place to get cited and, and tested and proven information about the markets, about this industry and any a lot of the answers that uh, you're trying that you're looking for. All those questions that you see outlined in blue, 
you will see later. Those are things that come up in the course of a Google search. You know, some of the other things that are being looked for or, or relative searches and so on. We will, if not in this video, definitely uh, in the future, you will see those as subject matter for videos coming down the line. So speaking of Investopedia, here is that entry. Forex is actually an abbreviation of sorts for foreign currency and exchange or foreign exchange. It's the process of changing one currency into another for a variety of reasons, usually for commerce, trading, or tourism. According to a 2019 triennial report from the Bank of International Settlements, that's a global international bank that's kind of a central bank for other banks. The daily trading volume for Forex reached $6.6 .6 trillion in that year. I can tell you through a bunch of other sources, uh, especially with the inclusion of cryptocurrencies, that it has reached or exceeded $8 trillion. And remember, gang, this is daily. Every day, that kind of money is coming through the markets. Right now, it's time to take a quick commercial break. Wow, is this thing going? Look at this thing. We want to welcome one of our newest sponsors, Aromas by Peter. This is a salted caramel candle that we have burning in the Doggy Trader Studios. An amazing scent. Fills the room here. Gives us a really good energy and gets us talking about what we need to talk about. Let's talk about an everyday scenario how you would live in the Forex market. So our everyday scenario, you are traveling Europe. You're about to exchange dollars for euros. You get to the front of the line and you see EUR, USD, dollar sign, 1.08424. Okay, what does that mean? That is to say that for every one euro, you will spend a dollar and eight cents and 424 fractions of a penny, or a dollar eight and essentially change on your change to buy one euro. Let's take a look first at currency pair anatomy. When you saw that EUR, USD, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What does all that mean? There it is. That's what you see as you're trying to take whatever amount of money of U.S. dollars because you're going into Europe. You want to have European cash. That's the euro. EUR is euro. That is the currency of Europe. All of Europe accepted throughout the entire European U Union. Now, that's not to say that there still isn't the French franc or the German Deutschmark. There can be. However, this currency is accepted everywhere. And in this case, EUR is called the base, which is always the number one, which is why there's no number up there representing the euro. You assume that it is the number one. It is. USD stands for United States dollar or US dollar. And that is called the quote. And that's the number that is going to be changing. And even though we use down to the eight in that number, the cent, in the international markets, it actually goes three more places, fractions of a penny. When you're talking about millions of dollars, that's actually my annual salary. Pairs are always set by the industry and they do not change. So, for example, we just saw Euro USD. You will never see USD Euro. It will always be the Euro as the base. That's how it was decided when the Euro was developed, and that's how it's used ever since. Get to know your currency pairs for that reason. That way, you know exactly what you're looking at when you see them, and you don't want to make a mistake and reverse the two. So now let's finish our exchange. We're going to take 1,000 US dollars and turn them into euros so we can travel through Europe with European cash. Remember this formula, and you will see it again throughout this video and throughout this curriculum. 
the number of base units times the quote equals the conversion. So there it is again. Number of base units, that was euros, times the quote, in this case, a dollar eight. We're going to round that down. You'll see that in a second. Equals the conversion. We had a thousand dollars. That's the conversion. So this is actually going to be reverse. Instead of the, the multiplication you see there, we're going to do some division in a minute. But that's that can't be helped because the base is the base. And in this case, the base is euros. So units times 1.08. We're cutting off the end. We're going to make the math easy just for this example. Equals 1,000 US dollars. That's what we've got now, and we're turning into euros. Euros, the units, are the unknown for this equation. So 1.08 times U equals $1,000. Divide each side by 1.08. And the number of units or euros that we're going to take out is 925 and 92 cents of a euro. I don't even know what that is. But 92 hundredths of a euro in addition to the 925. That's the cash in euros we're going to be taking on our trip. So now let's go home. Our trip is over. We've had an amazing time touring Europe. And now we want to take those extra euros. We've pulled some aside. We put them in the suitcase. That's going to be our souvenir. Time to put that back into US dollars. Before we do that, I want to remind you that this computer that's sitting here on my desk is an amazing machine. You know, I seriously think that I can talk to the International Space Station with this thing. It's, it's just amazing. I love what I do here in the Doggy Trader Studios with this thing. And uh, it, it's really amped up um, my whole uh, everything. It's, it's just awesome. Tim's Custom Computers uh, hit me up. Um, I don't, I haven't every time I've you know been wanting to do some sort of, uh, uh, some sort of, you know, um, better commercial for Tim, although he's getting a lot more than 30 seconds. Uh, just hit me up at my email. If you want a machine like this, Jurgs at jurgergroup.com and, uh, we'll put you guys in connection and he'll do an amazing machine for you. I promise you. Next, uh, when I take profits from day trading, I invest it with Edward Jones, make sense of investing. Uh, I talk with Mark Rediger. Uh, he's right here in Hudson. Uh, I will hook you up with him too. Uh, so email me. Um, there you go. There's the email. And we will get you hooked up. If you get into Hudson, by all means, get a workout in with us at Monster Mouse Fitness. Everybody here at the Doggy Traders Trades at the House of the Mouse right here in Jasmine, Bayonet Point, just outside Hudson. It's uh, it's not even a five-minute drive, honestly, and it's a great facility. Love it there. And finally, Joe Susi does all of our taxes here in the Doggy Traders Studios. He's down in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, really knowledgeable guy, understands trading. That's key and uh, definitely helps us with losses, profits, and exactly where to, um, exactly where and how to invest afterwards. So back to our scenario, we're headed home. Let's say we've used mostly our credit card or a debit card for the bulk of our purchases. And that cash that we had with us was really tip money. So of that thousand U.S. dollars, we we got a little bit left over, and we're gonna a substantial amount left over, something that's worth not leaving in euros. Remember, we got the souvenir, we got a few euros in the wallet. Let's get rid of the rest of it and turn that back into the U.S. dollar, um, and that number is five hundred. Let's say we have an even five hundred euros left at the end of our trip. We go to exchange the euros back into U.S. dollars, and this is what we see. Again, EURUSD. But this time, the number changes from 108 to 112. Is that good or bad for our wallet? And why? Well, it's actually both. 
It's bad for this reason. We started at 108. So for one euro, it will cost us one dollar and eight cents. Our trip is over, and now we see that it costs us one dollar and twelve cents per euro. For the dollar, that's bad because now it takes more dollars, four cents more, to equal one euro. However, for us, that's actually going to be good. Let's take a look and find out how. Remember, the number of base units times the quote equals the conversion. I'm going to pound that home till we learn it. Our number of base units is 500. We have the base euros, 500 of them. The new quote, remember we're going to round these down. It would be three more digits after, three more places after that 12 that you see there. But again, we're keeping the math easy, and we're going to round it down to 112. That gives us 560 U.S. dollars that we're taking home. Remember, we started with 1,000. Now we're getting 560 back, which means we spent 440 US dollars for tipping people during the course of our trip. So let's take a look at our money then and now. Remember, here it is again the number of base units times the quote equals the conversion, the number of euros times 1.08 is $440. 1.08, remember, was our initial quote when we came into Europe. And we figured out that we spent 440 US dollars. So divide each side by 108, which means that during that trip, the 440 US dollars that we know we spent now converts directly into 407 euros and 40 hundredths of a euro. I'll learn what that is. So, a comparison the 407 and change euros at a rate of 108 equals 440 US dollars. On our return, we, we changed 500 euros at a rate of 112 for 560 US dollars. 560, 440 equals 1,000. If we were to have done that at the, the original 108 exchange rate, the number of euros we would be exchanging times that rate of 108 would equal 540 US dollars. So in summary, the 560 US dollars we're taking home minus the 540 US dollars we could have been taking home equals a profit of 20 bucks. $20 is 2% of our initial $1,000 investment. However, it's 4.5% of the actual $440 that we really spent. So congratulations, you just profited in your first Forex day trade. During the course of a lot of these videos, I often bring in a celebrity influence. I have a file on this computer that is a lot of screensavers from celebrities, business people, and so on, and relative inspirational, uh, motivational quotes that they've said and that have affected my life in a positive manner. For this video, I would like to call on Mark Cuban, billionaire entrepreneur and the owner of the NBA's Dallas Mavericks. Mark says, 
Always wake up with a smile, knowing that today you are going to have fun accomplishing what others are too afraid to do. Yes, in day trading, wake up with that smile, knowing that so many other people listen to the stigma and to all the bad things said about day traders and crypto investors and Bitcoin's a bubble and you're going to lose your house and... Oh, I love some of the crap I hear about this industry. However, let me tell you something on what this industry has done for me. Laying on the floor right here in the Doggy Trader Studios are both of my dogs, the namesake of this brand. Since I've started day trading, each of these two dogs has had at least one emergency surgery that was life-saving. I was able to pay for that surgery and save my dog's lives because of day trading, because of crypto investing. And today is Sunday. Two days ago, as we record this video, two days ago, Moby turned 12. Two days before that, Matrix turned seven. The average life expectancy, they're Italian Mastiffs, by the way. The average life expectancy of an Italian Mastiff is 8 to 10 years. Remember, Moby is 12. The other things I've done with Moby and Matrix are feed them an outstanding diet, very healthy. They get coconut water multiple times a day. They get high-quality good food that fits their body once, twice, sometimes three times a day, depending on how much it needs to be spread out. And as a result, they lived a pretty damn good life, I don't mind saying. Also, this whole house was bought through day trading. The down payment was roughly a, then about 30, I think I own about 40% of the house now, a year and a half later was from crypto investing largely, but also day trading. Right outside that window sits $50,000 worth of jet skis. Paid for in full, no loan whatsoever, from crypto investing and day trading. Honestly, I can go on and on for a little bit longer, and I won't. I think you get the idea. I'm responsible with the trades that I place and with the lifestyle that I choose. You don't have a Ferrari sit sitting in my driveway. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath house, modest, even though it is on the water. Those jet skis are on a ramp and are ready to go right into the Gulf of Mexico. That's the lifestyle series of videos that we do with the Doggy Traders. We help educate you what it is really like being a professional day trader, being someone who can homeschool your son, being someone who is retired now from another career. So yes, I do have another source of income, but any investor will. They don't put all their stock in one company. They buy stocks in other companies that perform differently throughout the course of the year. And one generates money while another one's stagnant. Same thing with cryptocurrencies. Same thing with Forex trading or trading on any of the other types of markets, indices, commodities, whatever. So know that here at the Doggy Traders, we are beating the stigma, the negative publicity, and in some cases, the outright lies by people that don't like this industry and by people that are trying to sell you some false type of secure lifestyle. This takes work, but it's worth it. But if you want a Ferrari, just go lease one. It's a lot easier. And you can give it back. All right, end of rant. So don't forget, at the end of all these videos, as I record all this shit, sometimes I screw it up. We put that at the, at the end, and that's what we call outtakes. And you'll enjoy it. Just hang out for a little bit longer. We're getting there. Also, don't forget, 
if you're appreciating what we're doing here, please subscribe to the channel and check out our other channels too. Uh, like, give us the like. That's always important. I'm in the way. Look at that. There we go. What is day trading? Go back, check that out again. And coming up next, what are cryptocurrencies? That's kind of important. That's everything, gang. I want to thank you for watching. Again, stick around for the outtakes. I screwed up royally during this, so enjoy. Hey, gang. Welcome to the Doggy Traders. Check one, two. There we go. Welcome to the Doggy Traders. I am your host, Jurgs. You remember that from... There's my name on the screen twice. I mean, I seriously think that I can talk to the space shuttle. Well, actually, not the space shuttle anymore, but maybe the International Space Station.